Welcome to another movie review from me, Cody Reed. This one's for Into the Woods. La 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 la. A musical, Into the Woods. Now this is based on the Broadway play and the musical Into the Woods, which I haven't seen, so I'm basing my knowledge on the movie itself. Now this film adaptation is directed by Rob Marshall, who also directed Chicago, another musical. So if you like that style that he took on Chicago, you might like Into the Woods. Into the Woods tells the story of a baker and his wife. Uh, you know, they're trying to have a kid, and for certain reasons they need the help of a witch that lives close by. She also needs their help for a certain reason, and so they come together to help each other out. And that's where the musical takes off. You get to meet these different characters, the, the baker and his wife, this witch, uh, Cinderella and their evil stepfamily, uh, the prince, you know, Prince Charming, Rapunzel and her prince, Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Red Riding Hood and the Wolf, and so we'll get to all these characters a little bit. But first I want to talk about the movie itself. When I was going in, I didn't really know what to expect. I hadn't seen the play, like I mentioned, and musicals, I mean, I, I, I enjoy them. But the first hour and a half, I really enjoyed. I was giving it high marks, but then came the last half hour or so of the movie. It's like a completely different storyline. Uh, I mean, the music is still good. The music's great throughout the entire thing. Some of those songs are really catchy. Uh, but the last half hour, man, it kind of brought me down because the movie's about to end and then it just goes off into a different uh, story, basically. Kind of like a different plot, a separate storyline. And I don't know how that is in the, the play. I mean, I'm pretty sure they kept close to it. So if you've seen the play, that's probably what you're expecting for, but for general moviegoers, just know that the last half hour will kind of take you away from the movie, at least in my opinion. But the first hour and a half, really great. All the actors do great, the music's great, I mean it looks great too, the visual effects and the, the way that it looks is really stellar. And besides the music, the characters are all really cool. It's cool seeing the characters interact because they're it's these fairy tale or Disney, you know, slash characters, these characters that kids will know, but it kind of has more of these adult themes also that adults will like. And so let's get into the majority of the review, which is the characters. And let me grab my list. Sorry, I have a list. There's a lot of characters. So first, Meryl Streep. Uh, she's amazing in the movie. I mean, she was already in Mamma Mia, and she's done stuff like this before, and so she really takes control of the witch role and just plays it with a lot of gravitas. Uh, next, James Corden, not James Gordon from Batman, James Corden, uh, he's one of the main characters, he's the baker, and he's uh, really enjoyable, he has some, like, some funny moments, he's a really good singer as well, and I, I liked his character, it was just like this simple baker guy, and Emily Blunt is his very attractive wife, I don't know how he landed her, but uh, he's, or sorry, she's the wife, and they really work well together. Next we have Chris Pine. Oh my goodness, he was probably my favorite character, maybe Meryl Streep was my second, but Chris Pine, he has the song, and uh, if, again, if you know the play, you'll know it, but it's called Agony, and literally, people clapped at the end of his song, it's kind of like a comedic song, and he plays this like Prince Charming kind of guy, but it's more like Gaston, he's like all full into himself, you know, and how great and attractive he is, and he has this five o'clock shadow, but when he sings Agony afterwards, people literally clapped after that part in the movie, and I just loved his character. Anytime he was on, he had this like swagger going on, and it was just funny to watch. Uh, and then he plays with Anna Kendrick, who's Cinderella, and she does great as well. You know, she's already been in Pitch Perfect, and so you have Cinderella and Prince Charming, and they have some scenes together. A few characters left. So we have Lila Crawford, she plays Red Riding Hood, and so she's one of the two kids in the movie. The other one is Daniel Huddleston? And so they both do, I mean, a pretty good job. I don't think as well as the adults. Uh, maybe I liked Red Riding Hood more than Jack, but I mean, they both do decent as kid singers and actors. And then last, you have Johnny Depp. Now, let me say something about Johnny Depp. Man, this was creepy. He plays like this wolf, and, uh, you know, he's like, has a scene with Red Riding Hood, and so it's a really unique interpretation on the wolf, kind of like a, you know, child predator. And he's like looking at her and like, little girl, come here. And it's like, okay, that part creeped me out. So I really, and you just have Johnny Depp. I mean, like with him and this weird mustache and he plays this wolf. He always has to do these weird characters, which kind of I'm getting sick of. And so if you're on the fence about this movie, go see it if you love musicals. I mean, you, you'll probably love it. If you like seeing these Disney characters, like if you like Once Upon a Time, that one show and seeing these different characters pop up on the screen. Um, don't go see it if you're expecting a good ending, in my opinion, like I mentioned, the ending kind of ties away from it, 
or Johnny Depp. I mean, that was a big negative for me. So overall, I'm going to give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. It probably would be a lot higher, maybe 4 or even 4.5 if it was just the first hour and a half. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I was getting into it. It had really good pacing throughout the movie. But uh, just the last part of the movie for me and Johnny Depp, uh, those were a few negatives, so it kind of brought it down a little bit. But overall, really great musical, and I still enjoyed it. So what did you think? Have you seen Into the Woods? Have you seen the play? What were your thoughts? Like this video, please, if you liked my review, and leave a comment, and we could talk about the movie. But make sure to subscribe so you can get updates on any further reviews that I'll post later on. And lastly, if you want to get any updates on movie reviews or maybe even some movie news, uh, follow me at Facebook and Twitter at Movie Read Views, or send me an email at moviereadviews at gmail.com if you have any questions for me. Thanks so much for watching, and happy viewing! Aha! It's a stretch! Uh, I wish I would have been in the movie. I'm fluffy. Or uh, into the woods. Oh, I would have loved it. But um, I give it a uh, seven out of eight spaceships. Still good. Still good. <laughs>